Hi everyone, Tammy Davis and I thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, um, not the usual 20 to 30 minutes, so um, that's my upfront promise. Um, but I'm bringing this to the, uh, the front stage basically because I've been asked about this several times now and I am actually posted something on, on Instagram kind of briefly the other day, but yet I wanted to go into it a little bit further, which has to do with digestion. And um, I know this is kind of, um, it may seem, if you've been with me for a while or you're kind of checking out other videos, this may be a little bit, um, almost like a shift. And so I just want to be upfront and be responsible and say that I, I recognize that, that I'm not specifically talking about health conditions nearly as much, although I will reference them from time to time, but through my continued work and research, the, the root of all illness, regardless of what you come to, is the way the body is or is not using both macro and micronutrients. Which brings me to the point of this video, which is digestion. Um, we understand it to be, we understand digestion as the gut the, and the bowels primarily. We understand, I think some people recognize the fact that the pancreas is involved because it's what re re releases enzymes into the stomach. Um, we also know there's hydrochloric acid. We know that the bowels and the small intestines start to digest proteins and where food is assimilated into the bloodstream. Uh, I think other people recognize the fact that the liver is a part of the process, which of course it absolutely is when the liver gets congested, which can happen at any given time. And that's the reason why um, if you haven't already signed up for my newsletter, um, on my, off my website, I invite you to do so, synergessence.com. The recent issue um, talks all about how to detox the body on a consistent basis and actually, actually help the body dig um, detox on a consistent basis. I'm really emphasizing here working with the body, helping the body do what it's designed to do instead of doing it for it because you know, if if you don't keep, it's like if you don't work a muscle, the muscle becomes flabby, the muscle becomes weak. The body is like that, so are our genes. It's if we, I mean, think of, like again, if you use the reference of the muscle, that the whole system is the same way. If you don't use it, if we keep replacing um, chemicals or that we, our body is naturally designed to produce, it's going to stop producing it. It's going to reduce the, the, reduce it, and you're going to become almost dependent upon it because we do need these chemicals. So when it comes to detoxing, the more we actually override the detox process, the, the less the body will be able to do it on its own, which means in between your cleanses and your detoxes, there's going to be some buildup, some congestion, and some fallout because the body can't keep doing it because you actually overrode the process and did it on its did it for it now granted i understand that there's probably there are circumstances that warrant um flushing the system of heavy metals like if you've ever had um what i refer to as a heavy metal sludge <laughs> injection where they're having to do, you know, kind of do run tests on you, it's a good idea to um, use additional herbal supplements. Um, Yellow Doc is the first one that comes to mind um, to help flush those heavy metals out. There are other ones that will work as well, including essential oils. Turmeric is one. Myrrh is another one. Um, taking magnesium um, will also um, help keep the heavy metals, protect your cells from that. I want to say protect, it won't flush the heavy metals, but it will protect your cells from heavy metals. That's one of the functions of magnesium in the body. So on that note, like I said, when we insist on detoxing the body on a regular basis, and I know some people do it per season, you know, sometimes people do it once a year, sometimes twice a year. I mean, we're, we're all different in our, in what we like to do. The, the challenge is, is though, the more we do it, the less, prone the body is to do it for itself 
in between because you've done it and um, I can't tell you the number of people that I know and have worked with that have gone to and paid good money for detoxes um, only to find that they still have the hormonal imbalance, they still have the digestive upset, um, you know, depression, anxiety. It didn't do anything for any of that. And they felt discouraged because they were assured. And in fact, I've had some people tell me, unfortunately, that they were, it was explained to them, and this is how they understood it. So I want to, again, be responsible and just say that I have no idea what the um, professionals and clinicians said to my client, but what I know that my client understood was that what, what she reported back to me was, and I've had this a couple of people, their interpretation was that once they had the detox, they would never have to worry about detoxing again, that they would be good. Um, that's so far from the truth. <laughs> Um, that I should say that's so far from factual because really the truth is your truth, my truth, how our body works is our, it's its own truth. There's, um, no two bodies function the same, but the fact is given the world that we live in, it's, we're hard pressed to actually cleanse the body and be good for the rest of, you know, it's rock solid for the rest of our lives. So on that note, with regards to digestion, the digestive system involves far more than it's, and it's far more complicated, although it's not a mystery, um, that it's far more, it's, it's a little bit more in depth than just stomach, pancreas, liver, and bowels. Um, and the reason why I'm bringing this up, like I said, is somebody asked me the other day, and it's been asked twice now within a 48 hour period, um, how does someone know if they have a digestive problem? Now, interestingly enough, both of these people, well, one person is directly living with um, chronic um, progressive autoimmune, in her case, it's lupus, and um, it's attacking her bone structure. And um, the other person is the wife of a man who's living with MS, who was diagnosed with MS three years ago, but he's been displaying symptoms for about 10 years prior but he only had the confirmation, the confirming tests um, three years ago. Needless to say, ongoing progressive autoimmune disorders, interestingly enough, are wondering, what, how do you know if you have a digestive problem? And of course, the, the initial response would be, well, if there's diarrhea, constipation, bloating, belching, you know, gas. Um, you know, one of the examples that I provided was food particles in the stool. I mean, these are all indicators. Indigestion is another one. I mean, those are all the, the classic indicators of poor digestion. But let me just, just say it in a nutshell. If you're living with a health condition, I, I mean, I don't care if it's allergies, um, you know, high blood pressure, if you're living with addiction, if you're living with autism, if you're living with um, rashes, you know, eczema, and you have no, I mean, you know, the and these could be independent, you know, just one issue, you have digestive issues. It's clear and simple. You are not using your macro nor your micronutrients, and macro being proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, and the micro being well, all your vitamins, minerals, and your phytonutrients. I mean, other signs of um, digestive upset or digestive um, dysfunction, you know, of course, is if you don't feel right after you eat, it doesn't necessarily mean indigestion, but if you kind of get foggy headed, um, just bad, you know, a tight feeling in the stomach, I mean, just kind of just, ugh. <laughs> That's a pretty good sign that your body's not breaking something down. So I just wanted to just say that much. It's really, if you're living with a health condition, I don't care what it is. Um, I don't care what the diagnosis is. I don't care what the, if you don't even have a diagnosis, but you just have a multitude of symptoms that you may or may not think are problematic, you have digestive disturbances. Um, because, like I said, the digestive system involves much more than what how we per currently recognize it it is truly down to how the body is 
assimilating our nutrients at the very, very cellular level. And um, unless we can capture that and we can rectify that problem, we will always have digestive problems. And unfortunately, this spills out into our everyday life and it is what largely leads to the, um, the decline of our health as we get older. It is what's incre in, in, increasing the aging rate when we see people who look like they're aging faster. Um, it is what, um, well, I just saw an article this morning with regards to um, aging brain and how the brain atrophies as we get older. But there's what they call super agers that um, aren't seeing the type of atrophy occur in their brain and they are, their memory is lasting. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to go out on a limb here because nobody knows why. This is still speculative as to the reason these folks are, have been blessed with this. But it's going to come down to the way we use nutrients. It's just hands down. And unfortunately, no number of supplements um, is, are going to improve that. I mean, you can take your digestive enzymes, absolutely, and definitely include your probiotics. I mean, these are all very important. You can do your, you know, you can include herbs that will actually um, assist with um, digestion. And you want to make sure that you're including essential oils. Um, there's an array of oils that can stimulate the um, healthy um, flora in the bowels, um, take care of your liver, stimulate digestive juices and enzyme production, as well as this is the reason why I like the oils, because they actually override um, the unnatural substances that we are exposed to on a regular basis. Um, there is an unrecognizable, uh, undefinable, I'm sorry, <laughs> there is an undefinable recognition in um, nature, um, uh, throughout nature, that scientists have identified, they have um, labeled it as such um, for several hundred year, years now. So this undefinable recognition within nature happens within our system. And this is part of the reason why, you know, being using natural ingredients and natural products is a good idea. But keep in mind, not all, all natural products, again, our systems are different. So what works for me isn't going to work for you. And so it takes really fine tuning and not just opening up a book or a website and going, okay, this is what I need to use. It's a starting point. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely a starting point. But the results are going to um, differ between people. And the other important thing to remember is you want to remain inconsistent. You know, just like they tell you to vary your diet, just like when you exercise and it's recommended that you change out your workouts in order to um confuse you know the muscle memory because when it becomes so accustomed to doing the same thing then um, you actually slow the progress down so those two ideas of mind the same thing holds true for the essential oils changing them not changing them up on a you know four to six week basis you don't want to remain with the consistent oils um, but including them into your daily life is absolutely necessary in order to begin to undo um, the destruction or the damage, if you will, of the poor nutrient usage. If you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Tammy, and I look forward to seeing you um, or talking with you either via email, contact me via my website, synergessence.com, and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your questions. All right, have a great day. Bye.